What's up, guys? You know, I'm not even gonna say much in this video, man. I just had to come on and comment on what I just saw. I'm sitting there eating a salad. It's, it's a wonder I, it hasn't come up. <laughs> man, um, the main thing I want to say is, man, whoever this doctor was, man, that sent Turiano Johnson back out to fight, man, that doctor should never work at boxing again, man. She never worked boxing again. I can't say take the man license and he can't be a doctor no more, but man, he should not have sent this guy with his lip split like that, man. Come on, man. You know, I got the TV pause, the picture that you're going to see with this video, the thumbnail. You know, the doc opens the guy's lip, man. It is literally split, like completely split. That shit nasty, man. I ain't, a, I ain't a squeamish dude, man, but that's nasty, man. I'm looking at it right now. Man. No, man. You can't send a dude out to fight like that, man. It's more to life than a fight, than, than, than this sport. You know, forget all this dying in the ring bullshit. You know, I mean, he sent the guy back out there. You know, Hyman Gia just went after the guy, man. Was unloading on, on it and made it worse. Made it worse, you know. That was unnecessary, man. They should have stopped that fight immediately. And let me let me put some blame on uh, Andre Rogier. He was the coach. He should have stopped it too. If if the dog, he should have just immediately got up and, and stopped that fight, man. You know, care, care about your fighter, man. You know, no, man. There was no no need, no sense. You know, talking about give him the rest of the round, give the twenty one seconds. You know, like he was gonna go out there and, and flatten Hyman Mungia with a, with a one punch knockout or something. It wasn't even worth it, man. It was not worth it. Uh, you know, to save the f further damage on this guy, he gonna have to have some kind of surgery or something. You know. So I just wanted to come on and, and comment on that, man. People need to realize and recognize, man, when it's when it's time to to stop the fight. You know, like what happened in the, the David Benavidez fight when he fought uh, Darrell. Uh, what happened? I think it, his his eye was split, cut bad on top, if I remember correctly. You know, and, and they were letting the guy continue to fight. It was ridiculous, man. You know? It, that fight should have been stopped immediately. So, I just want to say that, man. And, and let me give a salute to Toriano Johnson, man. 36. Uh, you know, he, he came to win, man. He fought it. He fought his, uh, his heart out. You know, he, he tried that. That was an entertaining fight back and forth. You know, uh, he won some rounds. He had some success, you know, I'm pretty sure, could, you know, if he wants to continue, could probably get another solid fight in his career from his performance. So, you know, good for him, man. Um, uh, and I, I got a salute and he was taking it to him among you and I'm pretty sure, I don't know, it, it might make Golden Boy a little nervous, but yeah, they probably figured that Hammond Gia needs to be tested like that. You know, he needs that experience. And um, that was that was really good, great from uh, Triano Johnson. You know, he, he put some respect on his name. All right. So I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to be real quick and comment on that, man. You know, the doctors, man, the ref. Uh, I don't know if the ref could have stopped it. Maybe, well, yeah, he, she should. I don't know what the rules were. Um, but, yeah, somebody should stop that damn fight. Ref, Doc, or the trainer, Andre Rogier. You know, so, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.